Hey guys, it's Kibi Maniac here, and today we're gonna be doing some 3x3 walkthrough solves. Let's get right into it. So, on my community poll around a month ago, I asked you guys would you rather see some 3x3 example solves or how to make your stop motion videos better? And an overwhelming majority of you wanted to see 3x3 walkthrough solves. I'm not a very good teacher, I might sound a little confusing at times, but let's try and get through this. I'll, if you guys want me to make the, a stop motion video, like how to how to make them better, uh, leave that in the comments below and I'll see if I can make it happen. So yeah, let's jump right into the example solves. So I'm taking scrambles from CS Timer. I'm going to have them on screen if you can't see them over here really well. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we have the scramble now, and for the cross, so I'm using, I'm also going to do F12, uh, sorry if I didn't mention that before, but yeah. So we can see, we already have one cross piece in place during ins inspection, so this is what I'm going to be looking for, I'm looking for the cross. And I can see I can just bring this down here, so I, I'll get the orange piece there too, so that's going to be a simple one move. And then I can see, I can, after I do that, I can probably do a U2, and put that in its place by doing an L2, and then I can figure this piece out later. I, I'm not very good at inspection. I'm trying to work better on that. And yeah, so when solve starts, I'm just going to go ahead and move this piece into where it's supposed to go. I'm going to do a U2 so I can just do an L2 to get the green piece where it's supposed to go. Now here, what I like to do when I have edges in the middle layer, what I do is I move it to where it's supposed to go with like a lowercase u. And I'm just going to bring that into its place. And now I'm going to do a U back or either you probably now i'm gonna do you back yeah so yeah and then we have a cross then now we're gonna be looking for f2 up here this is gonna be the first f2 up here i see so i'm gonna go ahead and bring that over and now what i like to do I, get, I like to put these corners down here so i can match them up with their edges easier so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do an, a simple trigger move i'm doing r u r prime so i can get that corner here and i'm just gonna bring that edge back now i see if i can just if i just move this layer up i'll match them up so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna get it out of the way so when I move it back, it won't mess it up. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it into the back slot by doing R prime U R. And now we're gonna have another F2 up here right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the top layer. And now I notice it'll be easier if I just do a U and break it up instead of going over here. That'll just be extra work. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that pair up. And then I see this is another like trick I've taught myself because F12 is mainly intuitive and the more cases you see the more like algorithms you're going to develop are in your head you don't have to remember these so yeah I'm going to go ahead and put this in the back slot now so I'm going to move this out of the way so when I move this it won't mess anything up so I'm going to move this top layer over there so when I move this back up it's going to be matched let's do that again so I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way so I'm going to put the corner down there and I'm going to go ahead and turn that layer back. So when I turn this layer back, it's going to match up. I know that's not a bit confusing, but when, when you try it, get, it makes a lot more sense. So I'm going to bring this back over and I'm just going to insert it into where it's supposed to go. And now we have uh, like uh, we have to look for our next F2 up here. So what I see is I see this right here and then I can see the corner of that edge piece right there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Instead of turning my cube, I'm going to go ahead and bring this layer. It's a lot faster to do this instead of turning your entire cube. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and so I can have this in the right slot because that's a lot easier. Now I'm going to bring this edge right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back in this corner, like I said. And then here, this is another simple trigger move. I'll just do R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U. R prime. So this is the, the trigger move you used when you were doing beginner's method, so you should probably remember that. And now we have three of our alpha 2 pairs done, and now we're going to go ahead and move this here so we can put it in. And now we see this is just a really simple case, which we can just match it up like that and we can insert it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a U2 so I can bring it over here and do that case. So I'm going to do R, U, R prime. And now I'm not going to be going over OLL and PLL in this video. I might make a video later about that if you guys want it. So I know full OLL and full PLL, I will recommend you learn it too. You can just search it up, full OLL and full PLL. It took me around like three to four months to learn. Um, I did like around one or two albums per day. 
and if you do, if you can do more than that, then you go you. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a simple OLL case, and then PLL looks like we got an A perm, and then we're just gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna do our AUF. So that's the first example solve, and I'm gonna do one more. Um, I go really slow through these, so let's go ahead and get the next scramble. All right, I'm gonna have this on screen as well. All right, so it looks like we don't have anything in our cross. So during inspection, I'm gonna look for how I can do this. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the easiest to do. I'm gonna put the blue in there. And now since I know blue is opposite to green, so when I put the blue in there, I can go ahead and turn this layer and put the green down there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put the blue over there. I'm not worrying about these colors right now because I can fix that at any point. I'm gonna turn this layer right there and I'm gonna put it opposite of the blue. And now see since I know orange is next to green, I'm gonna go ahead and move it over there so I can uh, do a simple F move to get it into its place. Now this is gonna be the same case we had last solve where we can just do a U, like a small U, and put that in its place. Cross is mainly intuitive. The more examples you do, the better you get at it. And then I'm just gonna fix this these colors so they all match up. Okay, now the first step to a pair. I'm gonna be looking at this one because I see these two are matched up kind of. So this is another case I like to do because mainly you have to split these up when you're doing them. So what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that to the right slot. I'm gonna split these up by doing a move R, U, or U prime, R prime. And now these are split up and now this is a simple case where I can just bring this over to the left. I don't like doing left moves much, but this is gonna be a lot faster. So I can match it up. This into it straight into its slot. Now we can see we have an F2O pair right here where I can just move this piece out of the way, this corner out of the way, bring this bring this edge over and match it up. And now I have an, another F2O pair and it's supposed to go here, so I'm just gonna ahead, go ahead, gonna go ahead and insert it right into there. And then looks like we ha we already have an edge in place, so let's just look for the corner. The corner is back here. So what I like to do if there's a corner like in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out by doing a move uh, R prime U R, which just gets it out of that slot. And now I'm gonna bring this over here. And now I'm gonna, like I said, last reconstruction solve or uh, my last walkthrough solve. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down into this corner. And I, I can see if I just do an R U or an R U prime, then I can match that up. And I'm bring that back down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into its slot. Um, there's not many algorithms you can know for F2L. It's like I said before, it's mainly intuitive. You just have to do a lot of solves and you'll eventually get the hang of it. And now I see the corner's already where I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a U2 and get this edge over here. I see if I can just do an FU, it'll match it up. So I'm gonna do F or an F prime. I'm pretty sure, yeah. An F prime, a U. And then I'm gonna bring it back down. And now to insert it, since, since it's like in this front and I don't want to turn the cube. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna sledgehammer it in. I'm gonna do an F prime, an F, uh, R prime, F prime, and an R. All right, and now this is, uh, oh, I actually forgot this OLL, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, and then I know this one. So we'll go ahead and do an OLL, and then this is a V perm, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna go over OLL and PLL. And this video is already getting really long because I talk for a long time. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something new from it. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. See ya. Bye.